Hi, my name is Ryan Guy and I'm a coach for the Chico State Speech and Debate Team. This lecture will take you through the process of getting your computer set up and getting you ready to go ahead and complete extemp homework assignments. The lecture breaks down in two parts. First, I'll talk about the tools that you need to have installed on your computer to go ahead and complete the extemp homework assignments. And then I'll take you through the quick and easy process of finding articles and saving them to our virtual extemp tub. Let's go ahead and get started. Getting set up. So the first tool we're going to talk about is Google Chrome web browser. So why Google Chrome? First off, don't use Internet Explorer. It is a scary, psychotic, unstable browser, and we have higher expectations for you as members of our team. So why Google Chrome? First off, Google Chrome is fast, it's free, and when it comes to doing extemp homework research, its print function works great and prints the source and date at the top of the page, which is important because it saves us the need to use a template. So how do you get Google Chrome? The process is pretty simple. You can go ahead and cruise on over to Google or just go to www.google.com forward slash Chrome, bring up a screen that looks like this and go ahead and click the button that says download Google Chrome. It'll take you through a download and setup process, follow those prompts and instructions and you'll be using Google Chrome in no time. The next tool is a file backup and file sharing tool known as Dropbox. So why Dropbox? First off, in general, losing work sucks. As a college student, chances are at one point or another you've had that situation happen where you were working on a paper, boom, lost it. If you use Dropbox, that situation becomes less likely because Dropbox is an automatic plugin that runs in the background of your computer and anything that you save to the folder gets automatically backed up to a secure server. This allows you to have a copy of your file at any time, regardless if you remember to save. Um, in addition, Dropbox can be run on a variety of devices, from your iPads, your mobile phone, to different computers, and this gives you the ability to have your files anywhere. Further off, you can also get revisions, so if you accidentally make a mistake and you save it, you can go on the Dropbox site and you can view these old files. For doing extemp research, what's really useful for us is it allows us to have shared folders. These are folders that you can have on your computer that is the same amongst all members of the team. It's really handy when we want to share a variety of files that we all contribute to a community database. And that's where the extemp tub comes in. And that, like the previous tool, Dropbox is also free. So how to get Dropbox? process is pretty simple. Go ahead and navigate to www.dropbox.com bring up the site and then just click on the big blue button that says download Dropbox. Again, you'll get a series of prompts. Go ahead and follow those prompts and you'll have the plugin installed in no time. The next tool is a PDF printing tool and this is the tool that you only need if you're using a PC computer running Windows. If you have Mac, there's already a PDF printing tool built in. But if you're using a PC, you're going to need the PDF Creator plugin. So, why PDF Creator? PDF Creator is a plugin for Windows operating systems that lets you print directly to a PDF file. Uh, PDFs are really handy for Extemp because it allows us to have a universally compatible file that anybody on any laptop can go ahead and open and access in rounds. And like the previous tools, the PDF Creator pl plugin is open sourced and available to you free. So if you have a PC and you need to get the PDF Creator plugin, go ahead and navigate to sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash PDF Creator. Um, this tool is also the exe file that's sitting in the Dropbox in the extent folder. Um, but you can also go to this site and download it. Once you get to the site, click on the big green button that says download and it'll give you a bunch of prompts and go ahead and install that, those prompts and follow them and you'll be set up with the PDF printer in no time. Final step to getting set up is to go ahead and request access to the extemp tub. Just installing the Dropbox gets you the tools to go ahead and back up your files, but it doesn't give you access to the shared extemp tub folder. You need to go ahead and request access from one of our coaches. So just go ahead and send an email to any coach and ask that coach to give you access to the extemp tub. 
they'll send you an email back, you click on the link that comes back in that email, and boom, your computer will go ahead and download everything that's already in the Extemp tub, and then you'll have that shared folder on your computer. Once you've accepted the access to that, anything that you put in that folder or take out of that folder will be simultaneously synced with all the other um, forensics users on the team. Now that you're set up, you're ready to do some extemp homework. So I'd like to preface this by saying when it comes to topics for doing extemp homework, it's going to be different topics for different team members um, based on where you stand and what you're doing on the team. So if you're an IER who is competing in extemp, there will be a weekly list of topics posted, and that's going to be sent out via email or posted on our Facebook group. It um, usually comes out early on the week, and you should try to select a wide variety of those topics and post topics, um, post articles on those inside the Extemp tub. If you're an individual events student who is not competing in Extemp, you're going to actually have a specific topic area assigned to you by the coach, and that topic area may rotate a little bit over the course of the semester based on general things that we have needs for. If you're one of our debaters, Sue is going to go ahead and assign you a topic area or perhaps a country, and you'll go ahead and research issues on that and upload those files. Regardless of where you stand, though, the general process of downloading articles and saving them in the Extemp tub is the same for everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through that process now. Go ahead and start by opening the Google Chrome browser. At this point, you want to go ahead and navigate to your favorite news site or news search engine. I'm partial to Google News. Once you've found an article on your topic, the process is pretty simple. Firstly, most news sites tend to have unique print views that make articles easier to view when printed. Um, this is usually designated by a printer icon or a button that says print. Um, on the Telegraph, and there's the one right here, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. This will launch Google Chrome into its printer view. At this point, you want to make sure that the destination is set for your PDF printer. Since I've used it before, PDF Creator is already set on mine. However, you may need to click in here and select it from the different printers that you have installed on your machine. At that point, go ahead and click Print. After a moment, the PDF Creator dialog box will open. Just make sure that the document title matches that of the title of your article. I'm going to go ahead and remove the print header. At this point, go ahead and click Save. You'll want to navigate to your Extemp Tub folder inside your Dropbox. I've made a helpful shortcut on my desktop. Once inside the Extemp Tub, you should find the appropriate folder that you need to save your article in. Since this is an article on North Korea, I'm going to navigate to the International folder and find the North Korea subfolder. Since this is a popular topic, one of the fellow extempers has already created a subfolder about my specific topic. If you're researching something that hasn't been researched before, it may be necessary to create an appropriate subfolder about your issue. Once inside the subfolder, just go ahead and click Save. The PDF Creator button plugin has gone ahead and created a PDF for my article and I'm done. If you're using a Mac the process is going to be pretty much the same except you're going to go ahead and use the Apple built-in PDF capability in place of that PDF creator plugin.
All right, I think we're about ready to wrap up here. Just to review the process one last time, it's pretty simple. Just open your Google Chrome browser up, find the article that you're looking for, print to the PDF, and save that PDF in the appropriate Dropbox folder. If you have any problems with this or questions, go ahead and email me or one of the other coaches, and we'll be glad to help you out. Thank you very much for your time.